basically co-workers and it's not good for business not good especially when it's your business I mean it just who the hell look if I didn't have Thunder Rosa come to you that would have been that could have been her never wanting to come back ever again but because I made that's her- embarrassing to me hold on a minute I want to touch on that she messages me a few days after the show and she goes can I talk to you sure and uh, and I'm thinking she's like, oh, thanks for having me, which she did already. All right, before you, she, okay, she, wait, all she wanted before to do you, it, before, it you was, get, was, before you get into that part, this is where it led up to. I had them the whole month. I brought them to the show. They had a bunch of shows after that. Something was wrong, and I, I sat her down. And I said, "What's what's wrong?" And she told me, and I kind of knew some of it because Holiday said something, and she said something, and. You know, I was trying to put it together, but I made her, I made her open up and talk to me. And I said, look, you have to talk to Joe. You have to. You have to let him know what's going on. And I said, he knows, but he needs to hear it from a different mouth. It's one thing if somebody from Warriors of Wrestling complains about him or one of the students complains. I said, you're an outside person. You had to deal with that shit. You need to talk to her. And that's when she called you. And then go ahead. Well, and, and, and it's embarrassing to me because this is somebody that I really don't know. I don't know Mel. I mean, we went out to the diner with you and Scotty, and you know, we talked and we joked about this clown. Um, but I don't really know her. That was really, and oh, she came to training that day. Yeah. They seem like very nice people. But then to say, you know, we had, and they've been on, they were on other shows in this in this time period that you had them. Yeah. And I know damn well that Warriors of Wrestling is far superior than any other shows you had them at. And I don't care what you say. I, I know my product <laughs> is and, and draws and whatever. And it's and I'm in that match. And it's only so long that I can sit here and, and defend things. And then I have to say, no, you're right. I apologize. But I'll, let, I'll do this for you. I'll bring you back in June. Obviously, we'll bring him back one of them uh, in a few weeks, two or three weeks, whatever it is, for the women's tournament. But I'll, I'll bring you back in June. And, you know, they, they both want to come back. And mm-hmm. as I said, I'll, I'll find another partner, which you know who that's going to be. That's not a one-trick pony either. It's somebody that I trust as my partner. Mm-hmm. But, um, you know, we're going to do that whole thing. But it's embarrassing. It's embarrassing for somebody that, you know, I want somebody to come here who lives wherever they live, whether it's on the other side. Can you stop making noise? Who? You. I'm not doing a thing. Are you doing dishes over there? No. Dishes? I'm, in a, stu- like some, I'm in a studio. Dishes. <laughs> anyway, I, I don't want, whether they live on the West Coast, the middle of the country, or whether they live uh, in another borough, I don't want people to go out and say, oh, that fucking, that worries a wrestling, man. These people there. They're just assholes. I don't want that. I want people to go places and say, yo, I had such a great time there. What a great roster, what a great company, you know, what great fans. That's what I want. I'm done with the fucking shit that we used to do years ago, fighting with people, unless I have to. Um, <laughs> I, I want people to leave, and it's, it's, it's embarrassing to me that for people, one girl that's on a, a show that's on Netflix now, you know, complaining about nonsense, absolute nonsense. And you would think she'd be saying... It was Isaiah Wolf and uh, T.K. Luther, the LW States, because they don't know no better. There was no complaints about them. Nope. Nope. Because That's who it should have been, you know. You know why? Because it should have been the students. They're respectful, because you taught them from day one to be respectful. Chris Levin doesn't have that respect, and maybe because you never had him since day one. Maybe if you would have had him since day one, and you would have been the one that's trained him since day one, maybe he's a different person. But wherever he became, I a, doubt it. Wherever I he doubt became it. sour, I, I have no idea. But he's a very, very bitter man. Well, you, you can't, you can't say he, he was sour before he got to me. Or the guy in CZW, I don't know who, maybe DJ Hyde, I don't know, had an issue with him. More like the Jersey Devil fella had an issue with him because this guy's trying to tell these people how to run their company. Right. Who the fuck are you to tell somebody how to run their company? Especially when you're somebody who tried to run your own company twice and failed both times. <laughs> so how? I don't go around telling, I know Dennis Long and I don't, I don't tell Dennis how to run. He asks me for advice. I give him advice. I don't say, Dennis, you got to do this or your show sucks or, or you need to book this guy or not, book. who the fuck is the fifth company? Well, why should me or anybody else tell anybody who to book? Why tell me you should book this guy? No, I should unbook you. Go fuck yourself. fuck out of here. I'm not a fucking idiot. I know who I should book and who I should not book. Uh, no, nah, I mean, 
I think I think he feared what actually happened in January when those two girls, the Twisted Sisters, came in. Mm-hmm. They would expose his girlfriend. That's what happened. That's totally what happened. I could put the match up for everybody to see. Please do. It reminded me of the fucking fake no more fish fish in that, that music video epic. They're flopping around again. That she looked, she was flopping around. She couldn't even bump right for these girls. And that all could have been bump right all, for these girls. That all could have been avoided because. The Twisted Sisters, Holodad and Thunder Rosa, took it upon themselves on two occasions to come down to your school and work with your roster leading up to that show, but yet Jesse was nowhere to be found. Well, I don't, I don't, well, true, but I, I don't, first of all, you don't, I don't, you don't need to fucking work out with people to have a good match. You, you, you like, know what I mean? You, you should know but you, you should like know to how to have a fucking match without never worked training with before. somebody a week before. I, I feel that if you work with someone that you've never worked before, it's going to be a lot easier to have a better match than just watching video. Which, obviously, she didn't watch video. So. People believe their own hype because we hyped up somebody because they had a good few good matches with Carter because they took a beating from Carter. Mm-hmm. I edited those matches. I felt bad the way that I, I know how Carter is. Beating the shit out of this girl. So, I, and I, I did the one, this is this is a good one. He he told Karloff that when they had their match, I don't remember when it was that that he sh- that she should be going toe to toe with him. Are you kidding me? She, Have you seen Jason Karloff? Yeah, does he outweigh her by a hundred pounds? <laughs> oh come on! You know, it's like it's like so fucking ridiculous. It's so delude the people. So delusional. Oh yeah. Well, what about the, the Nyla Rose match? Is that the one where Jazz was like, uh, I, I can't take this anymore? Jazz I, I fell out of a it. damn seat. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've had enough of this shit. This girl's asked me the same questions two yes. shows and she hasn't done either one. Two straight years she's been asking me the same questions and doesn't do what I tell her anyway. So why she keep asking me? And Nyla outweighs the girl by 80 pounds. And she is power, power bomb. She cooks up at one. She gives her a oh, flying knee off the top turnbuckle, lands on her back, and she no sells it and gets up immediately. The, the match was so sloppy that Nyla was begging her to end the match, and it, and, she, and she did it with like the worst submission hold I've ever seen. I don't. I, <laughs> um, that's that's getting back to now. You brought in these girls and bring, brought up these girls when we were putting together this. This thing, a lot of girls did not want to work for women of warriors if he was involved. Right. This, that's a that's a that's a that's a that's an alarm. That's a, you know that's a red flag. That's a, yeah, that's a fucking flag on fire. <laughs> there's girls. Hold on. There's girls currently on my roster, and I'm not going to bring up any names. That said, and I quote: If Valkyrie ran another show after the last one, I would not be there. Yeah. Well, apparently. Uh... He he, maybe somebody needed to tell him this. What's the matter? I, I just he's just so diluted. I mean, how can you how can you have this all go on around you and you not know that it has? It to made be- me fucking miserable. It made me fucking miserable. I was I, I did not want to do this anymore at one point. Not because of other shit, but I, man, after that after he quit, I was like, yeah, because I didn't have to get rid of him. I let people get rid of themselves. They did. Yeah. It's such a relief now. That I don't have to sit there and be like, okay, uh, who are we going to put her against? Uh, do I have to please Chris Levin? You know, it's, it's such a relief. They don't have to deal with fucking nonsense. Well, that was the other thing. I remember you saying that when you released the, the Women of Warriors poster from April 8th, you did a quick one for the uh, the main show that later that night, and he got mad because she wasn't on it. And um, No, it wasn't. A, well, he didn't get mad about April 8th. It was... Um, it was a few other posters. It wasn't April Police. But wasn't it? He was saying something about he 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 wants it. no. Because when I spoke to him, he said I, I wanted to speak to him on April eighth. I said I wanted to speak. Well, I don't have any time. I have a match to get ready for, and so does she. Right, but that doesn't mean he was mad about the poster. Oh, okay. He was mad about other posters. April eighth. I don't remember that being an issue. But uh, the other posters, yes. And that, those are the posters that are no-brainers. If it's a convention weekend, you, I mean, you obviously you have to understand the amount of people that are being brought there. You know what, dude? And it's only a couple. You know what is it? Intelligent four, people know these things. What is it? Four or five times a year. So you're talking what? And, and you know, judging by the crowd we had last last two weeks ago, last show, 
Yeah. March 4th. Mm-hmm. Where we broke our, our own record. If people think that uh, your radio show last week or me on this radio show last week is hurting the company, they can fucking quit. Go work at some ticket seller shows that draw more than me. Have fun. But I'll be honest with you. Are you getting booked from your ability or who you know? I really, I, I, I don't give a fuck what anybody says. I, I, I know what our numbers are. I know what our gate is. I don't think anybody thinks it's going to harm. Well, you know, there's a little click of people in which I took my foot and stepped right on that fucking click. <laughs> and I will continue to get rid of guys in that click. I, I just have no use for them. Look, I got rid of the main cancer. Look, I, I got to, you know, I got to say, look, I, you know, I want to speak out as far as like to me to your, your locker room. Not at any point was this directed at anybody in that locker room other than Chris. This had nothing to do with Jesse either. Okay? This was my relationship with Chris and his continued backstabbing and his continued talking behind my back and his bashing of my talent that I work very hard to bring in these people and get them exposure, networking, uh, get them with the public, get them at the shows. Okay? If you've never done what we do then you have no right to even have a comment regarding it. So I have nothing against anybody in your locker room. If, if I insulted anybody in the locker room, I apologize. Because that's not what I intended to do. And if anybody the majority saw- of my locker room, my majority of my locker room, probably don't know who you are. <laughs> they might. But uh, and the rest of them, well, the majority of my locker room are happy he's done. Uh, that's point blank. And a lot of people came up to me, messaged me, and thanked me. Most of my students hated him. Hey, I'm like, who the fuck is this guy? Yeah. Well, when you show up to a rest, when you show up to practice or uh, your training and your flip flops, then you stand there and tell people what to do when you're a referee. That's ballsy. So, you get in the ring and put your put your money where your mouth is. But, no, and you know and what? I, I, there was, there, Dennis, there was a couple, oh, you there was a couple feedbacks this. that I saw, and I I kind of felt bad, and I I didn't want. I didn't want any heat, you know, because I, I still have to go to your shows. And and if I felt like I was, you know, being a detriment to your, to your show, I would have never even never even done it. Well, like I said, the majority of people don't give a fuck about him, don't like him. They're glad he's gone. They're glad he's fucking gone. And that's, that's, that's students, wrestlers, referees, across the board. Now, there's a reason for that. Why is that? Because he's a cancer. Yeah, I mean, if it's, uh, he wants to pinpoint people. He wants to go at Donnell. That's his. That's one of his favorite. Donnell, you know, <laughs> said he goes, "Look, dude, after this fake wrestling shit done, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna fuck you up for real." Oh, I'm gonna go tell Jake. I'm gonna, why are you gonna go involve these people? Uh, you you have an issue with me? Why involve all these other fucking people? Well, so the same thing I said about me feeling that he's a cop caller. So if I was to walk up to him and approach him, I could see him calling the cops. Oh, oh well, 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 he threatened to sue the guy. Uh, uh, what do you call him? The devil? The, the New Jersey devil? Yeah. He threatened to sue that guy. First of all, uh, you know what I just went through with my personal life and the lawsuits. Lawyers ain't fucking cheap. They cost a lot of money. <laughs> you just don't go, oh, I'm here to sue somebody. It doesn't work like that. No. Maybe small claims, a thousand dollars, but somebody's saying, oh, you can't ref a match. I'm going you know, <laughs> to sue you. <laughs> and it doesn't work like that. This guy is so fucking... He needs to wake up and get into the real world. Take down your Obama poster and go get a fucking job. It's a good start. <laughs> no, it's definitely a good start. Get a job. Um, learn some work ethic and make your own make your own wealth and pay your own bills and... Okay. Maybe, you know, once he does that, maybe he'll come back and say, yo, you guys are right and I apologize. You know what? I can respect that. I doubt that will ever happen, but, you know, that's the type of person you're dealing with. Well, he's running out of places to go. I mean, I, I can tell you right now, he's, he's, I can't see what Jersey company would hire him to be a referee. Even your hey. buddy. Not, not even your buddy. Anybody out there that wants somebody to come in and run their company for him, by all means, he's the guy for you. He's definitely the guy. <laughs> if you like running your company and calling your own shots, I probably would be not advise you. Maybe he'll sue me for saying this because he's still saying it's slander. Go hire a, a, a lawyer two fifty an hour, pal. <laughs> Five thousand dollar retainer. I mean, 
again, the whole thing, you know, people like to throw that word around, slander. It's not slander when it's true. Right. You know how you combat slander is with the truth. Right.